take them. <laughs> Might have gone a little bit too far this time. Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. I can hardly move for Primark bags. So it's no surprise that today's video is going to be a huge Primark haul. I have four bags packed with things. I went in there for the first time since the end of August, which is just crazy to me. I think that's the longest I've never been into Primark for. So they had so many new things that I hadn't seen before. Really nice autumn winter stuff, Christmassy stuff. So I am so excited to show you what I got. Before I get started, I will just quickly say, if you do like this kind of video, then please subscribe to my channel just below if you haven't done it already. Because even though I haven't posted a Primark haul since the start of September, I do them quite often as well as other hauls and fashion videos that you might enjoy. So please do hit the subscribe button if you like this kind of video. Let's try and move some out of the way for a second. I'm a little bit squashed. So the first thing that I wanted to show you is this beautiful feral style jumper. They have loads of Christmas jumpers in there and I'm sure I'll end up getting a more novelty type one but I do have quite a lot from past Christmases and you really only wear them a couple of times. So I thought I'd go for this because I'll wear this all the way through winter. I got a medium because I wanted it to be a little bit more baggy. Um, it was £14 and I just think it looks really classy. You know I could imagine this if I was going skiing. I wouldn't probably go skiing, I'd probably just sit in the place that serves drinks and wear that but you know, you get the gist. Okay, next up I found these in the same section, to me they're more like pyjama bottoms but I'm sure you could just wear them with Christmas jumpers and stuff. Again they're that fair old design, they have reindeers and snowflakes and different prints on, they're so soft, they're really really snuggly and I can't wait to wear these, they're going to just be so cosy. They were £10. Um, again, I sized up a little bit because I like this kind of thing to be a little bit more baggy. So they had some beautiful clothes in there. I mean, if you like your sleeves at the moment, then you will just want to pick up everything. So I found this. A really pretty pale pink top with little fluted sleeves. I'm going to say the word fluted quite a lot in this video. I just really liked the pink. It's just a really simple little top. It has this little ring design at the back, which I thought was really nice, and then a little keyhole cutout. And to just tuck into things, it looks kind of like nicely put together, but it, again, it's very simple. Okay, so next up, I found this. It was on its own, and luckily, it was my size, and I just thought it was really, really pretty. So it's a very high-necked little tea dress. Let me show you here so you can see. It's floral, which I love, and it has matching little frilly sleeves and a frilly neck. It's quite high necked um, and I don't usually get on with that style too well because I hate like feeling like something's around my neck but sometimes you just have to let the dress do the talking and put up with it. So it's got a little keyhole back as well and it just drops into a sort of shift style. So yeah, hopefully it looks nice on. It's going to be one of those that either does or doesn't, I really don't know. Um, but with tights and boots, I think that would look really pretty. I found a pair of black skinny jeans because I realised that since I was pregnant, I haven't actually purchased a non-maternity pair of um, black jeans. So I just decided to get this pair from Primark. I'm sure I've had these ones before. They are the super high waist skinny and they are only £9. That dress, by the way, was... How much was the dress? It was £13. So yeah, these are only £9. They are really skinny, which I love, um, and they're just really easy to wear. I'm always, always in my high-waisted jeans, so I thought not having a black pair was a little bit silly. I also got a pair of super cosy tights. These are the... Um, cable knit ones. I'm not sure how well you can see them on the camera, um, but they're cable knit, which I thought was quite a nice thing to have with little dresses and even jumper dresses. And they're in grey and they're 300 denier, so they're really, really thick and they have that fleecy lining. I also found this little top, which is very similar to the first one I showed you. Again, dark florals, you know me, nothing much changes, but it's just so pretty. It has actually a little bit more detail on the sleeves than the pink one. It was only £8, and I just loved the print on this so much. Um, so yeah, perfect for... I love things like this because they're very wearable in the day, but you can also dress them up for an evening or a meal out or something like that. Next up, I found this little top, which, oh my goodness, I love it. 
but I forgot to get something to go under it and I'm not sure if I've got anything. So it's a beautiful lacy blouse type of design with a fluted sleeve um, and a high neck again which is kind of like quite thick and structured so it's a bit like Victoriana gothic I suppose. Again I'm not sure how this is going to look on but I just thought it was so pretty but I really need a nice pink top to go under it um, and it was £10. Then I found a jumper dress. I love jumper dresses um, but I haven't got any this um, this year and I loved the colour of this. It's almost identical to quite a few jumpers that I have um, but they are just jumpers. This is a jumper dress so I just thought if I can find the right sort of high um, high waisted, that's not the right word, over the knee boots to go with this then it could look really nice but I do love this sort of dusky oatmeal-y pink um, it was only £10 I went for a size down because they were quite long and I think jumper dresses look nice if they sit just above your knee um, this might be a little bit too long for me but regardless I think it's going to be really wearable and really really pretty this winter just randomly I picked up some Christmassy wrapping paper and gift tags so I thought I'd just show you those now I think I've got two of these. So my thing this year was going to be silver and white. Um, but we've actually got a lot of gold Christmas decorations. So I don't want to start all over again. And then I thought, actually, they've mixed like all of the metal colours together. Like the gold, the silver and the bronze. And I think that could look really nice. And it makes it so much easier to wrap presents because you can find things in all of those colours really easily. So this is their gift wrap set. You get um, four rolls. Each roll, I believe, is... 1.5 meters so there's not that much on each roll um, but it was only £3.15 you get all of the ribbons and the stuff like that so I thought that was cute and they do the matching gift tags so you get 24 in a pack for £1.50 and I just thought they looked really pretty in all of the colours again and they just say like um, seasons greetings, Christmas wishes, all nice little messages like that. Next up it might be a little bit boring but Again, I went for a staple piece that I really needed. This is a high-necked, black-ribbed jumper. Perfect. Like, I thought this was great for the money. It was £6, and it's really soft, and the neck's quite stretchy as well. Um, so, I really like that, and the reason that I got that was to go with things like this. I found this really, really cute little A-line skirt, and it has... Um, a silver zip down the back with a little silver pull and I don't know if you've seen my latest ASOS haul and other things but I've got black boots with the exact same little ring pull and a hat and not that anyone's really going to notice that but I just thought it was a really cute design detail so I thought this tucked in to this would look really really nice this is like a suede material and it was £8 so I was really pleased with that whether I wear it with tights no tights, I'm not really sure yet, probably tights, but I like that a lot. I also picked up these, which I just love, but how much I'm going to wear them, I'm not actually sure. I just saw them on Mannequin with some of the other tops I got, and I just grabbed them, because it's Primark and you do that kind of thing. They are these beautiful trousers. I'm not sure if they're, yeah, they are cropped, but on me they'll probably be full length, because I'm so short. I love the colour of them. This is a perfect pink. Um... It's just how to style them up, really. They were £13, and they just drape really nicely. I mean, it's hard to tell unless you actually see them in the flesh, but they just feel really nice quality for the money, and hopefully they're going to fit nicely as well. I forgot that I actually also picked up a few, um, like, turtleneck, polo neck, whatever you want to call them, tops. So this is a bit different from the jumper. I'm actually really glad I got the jumper. I think that might be a better option because looking at them compared to the tops, I think they're just a nicer quality and a better option. But you can't really go wrong with these as basics. So I picked up three of these. They're just the high-necked long sleeve t-shirt, which again are perfect for going under like little A-line skirts. Um, just anything in general really as a basic even if it's under layers to keep you warm they're only four pounds so I got the grey I got the black and I also got this sort of camel colour is that what they're calling it yep camel 
So they're not, you know, the most amazing tops ever, but I just thought they would be good basics to wear under things. We'll see how they go. Next up, I found this skirt, which I just fell in love with. So this is a little pencil skirt, um, and you probably can't see it too well, but it has like paint splattered dots on it, as opposed to just normal polka dots. Um, it zips all the way down the back with a little gold ring pull zip, which I thought was so cute. And again, high necked little jumpers and things would look so cute tucked into this, and boots. I just think it's going to be something really easy to wear over Christmas um, and throughout winter, but that actually looks nice and like you've tried and made an effort. So that was £7, and I just love that. I haven't worn a pencil skirt for so long. Some more black tights. These are the 40 denier. I think you get two in this pack for £3. I also got more of the tags. And I found this belt, which is a bit of a gem. So this is just your normal black belt, but it's got the cutest little buckle. I don't know how well you can see it. But it's very sort of Gucci inspired. I don't think the camera's picking up on anything other than my face. So I'll hold it up here for you to see. So it's got pearl details on it. The reason I liked it is because it's that Gucci inspired look. Um, they do have this with the gold and without the pearls, just plain gold. And I looked everywhere for it, but all they had it on was a mannequin, so I couldn't get it. Um, but I really like that. I think it's a really pretty detail to add to a dress or to just cinch in a coat or something like that. And it was only £3. So, in here is some really cosy things. So I found this little pyjama set. I was really lacking in wintry pyjamas. I had to throw loads away because, you know, I need to get really, really old. Um, so I found these, which I thought were really pretty. They're just pyjama bottoms. They're ribbed. They look like really cosy, but not totally pyjama -y. They're more like loungewear. Um, just a little tie waist, cuffed legs. And they were £8. And you can also get the matching jumper. So I just thought the little set would look so cute together. Um, and the top was £8 as well. Obviously you could wear them on their own if you're a bit hot. But I thought that looked really nice. Lucky socks. I also got some socks though. I found these. Cozy socks. They're like a grey mile. They were £1.80. Oh, I love these cozy socks in winter. But they actually feel like super duper soft. Like the softest socks ever. Oh there's two pairs in there. No way. I'm easily pleased. £1.80. There's two pairs in there. Very good, like those. I also picked up these, they're really boring, but they're just a pack of shoe liners. There's seven in there, and I just went for your basic sort of dark and light grey. No, can't really go wrong, they were £2.50. I found some pyjamas. I was just really drawn to the bottoms of these. I just thought they looked really pretty. They're sort of like grey and white with like a leaf print and I just thought they'd look like something that you'd get in a like a higher end store like maybe the white company or something and then it just comes with a little three quarter length sleeve grey top with it so then you know they're nothing special but I just thought they looked quite pretty and quite elegant and they were six pounds I also got myself a little snuggly dressing gown I'm the worst at holding um, dressing gowns but all of the ones I have are like silky or cotton they're like summery ones I don't have a cozy one and I thought you know what that's what I need for those cold mornings to just put this on I'm always cold so this is definitely something that I need and I just thought it was really pretty so it's just the white with little beigey polka dots all over it and I just love it it's so pretty um, and it was £10, so I'm really, really glad that I've got that now, so I can snuggle up. I have to put a disclaimer here. Mum, if you're watching this video, you need to turn it off right now, because this may or may not include some of your Christmas slash birthday presents, haven't decided yet, but you cannot watch this video, so don't watch it, okay? Promise? Turn it off right now. Thank you. Hopefully my mum has gone now and I can show you what's in here. It's very exciting. If you like Disney. I found her this jumper, which, oh my goodness, isn't it so cute? If you're a Disney fan, this is like a Disney fan's dream. It has all of um, the characters embroidered on, like Chip, Mrs. Potts, the Rose, 
and it says beauty and the beast down here and it's like her favourite colour so hopefully she likes this and it was £14. I also found her these really cute pyjamas. I really like these because they come in little gift boxes so perfect for presents. This is the Minnie Mouse pyjama set so I can't really show you exactly what it's like but it's um, a navy sort of blue top and it says wake me for lunch and it has little gingham trousers with it so I love that and they've got different ones as well. Bambi and Beauty and the Beast I think and those are £12. I got her a pack of Beauty and the Beast socks if you can't tell she loves Beauty and the Beast and all things Disney but especially Beauty and the Beast. Three pairs grey, pink and white and they were £3.50 and then finally I managed to get my hands on these and I was really really excited. Please do not watch this mum if you're still watching you have to turn this off but I managed to find these which I've not seen before. I've heard about them before, but I never knew if they really existed because they're always sold out. But I found the Mrs. Potts teapot and the chip mug. Like, you can actually use these. Whether or not she will, I don't know. But I just thought, oh, they're so cute. So Mrs. Potts teapot is £12 and the chip mug is £5. And they were limiting people to buying two of each per person or something, but obviously... I didn't need two of each. I'm not going to go sell them on eBay or anything. I just thought she would really love them. I'm not sure my dad will want this in the kitchen, but that's not the point, is it? So, that is everything. I'm surrounded by stuff now, but I really hope you enjoyed the video, even though it was a super long one. If you did, then I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up, and please subscribe for more videos just like this. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.